This sculpted stone, used as a door lintel in Mel's saint church, would have originally been part of a Gallo-Roman headstone, like the two examples preserved in the Poitiers Museum. In the Gallo-Roman period, between the 1st and 4th centuries CE, an imperial road connecting Poitiers to Saint crossed through the Melois area. Of all the excavations carried out in the area, it is along this route that archaeologists have discovered the most ancient ruins, particularly a road marker at Brieux and a wooden bridge at saint soline In Rouen, they excavated several sections of a Gallo-Roman conurbation. Roranum was a stopover town for merchants and all types of travelers who followed the imperial road. At one of the main crossroads, they could stop and eat in the commercial area. This large building with Tuscan columns and decorated pillars housed several shops and artisans' boutiques, which likely included a butcher. About a hundred meters away was a thermal bath, probably open to the public, where travelers could take some time to wash and relax. On the other side of the Imperial Road, the artisanal neighborhood was dedicated to working in iron and bronze, in addition to bone and leather. This building, the placement of which has been well established, included a stable, a forge, and a workshop, where it was possible to repair pieces of harnesses, among other things. To the south of the town were several temples, called Phanum, for honoring the gods. We also know that the Latin poet Asonius, private tutor to future Emperor Gratian, had a residence in Roranum. Although the ruins of Roranum are buried today, the ancient objects discovered on the site are on display in the Roranum Museum in Rouen, with an explanation of day-to-day -day life in the area during the Gallo-Roman period. In an odd turn of history, the residents of Rouen are now known as Romains, Romans.